What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airwaves crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airwaves. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airwaves by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. Welcome in, friends, to this special interview here on Sports from the Couch on Mercado Airwaves. I'm your host, Mike Mercado, and we are joined today by one of the men in the co-main event of UFC 235. It is Kamura Usman, and he will be going up against Tyron Woodley for the UFC Welterweight Championship this Saturday, March 2nd, live on pay-per-view. It is UFC 235, Jones versus Smith, Woodley versus Usman. Before we get to Usman, here's a quick message. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else. And how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airwaves crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airwaves. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves.
While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on youtube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airways by visiting patreon.com slash Mercado Airways, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mercado Airways Network. Mercado Airways is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voice over work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. Thanks for keeping it with us. Here's our interview with Kamaru Usman. We get to know him a little bit, and we also talk about his huge fight at UFC 235, plus much more. Sit back and enjoy our interview with the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Enjoy. Nightmare, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing, Mike? I'm good. Thank you so much. I know you're having a crazy week, you know, fighting for the welterweight championship. It's amazing. I can't believe that uh, you were able to take a few minutes for us, buddy, especially being so so busy. But this has to be kind of a cool a combination. It's a matchup. A lot of us are calling it the Avengers matchup type of level. Usman versus Woodley. What else can you ask for when it comes to a dynamic type of fight? Somebody like you who walks on the aisle with the confidence, but also that that focus, how are you handling that emotion into this big weekend? It, what a lot of people are calling the main event of this of this card. Yeah, I'm handling it very well. I think uh, I, I've, I've, I've done everything up to now to be able to have the capacity to handle it. And so I, and nothing's changed. It, it feels the exact same. I actually was talking to, you know, uh, the guy who got me into the sport, Sugar Rashad Evans, last night, and I, I didn't feel any different. I don't feel any different from when I fought last November or when I fought in May, last May in Chile. I don't feel any different. I feel the same. This is a fight. This is just another opponent in the way. It's just higher stakes. You know, it's funny you bring up Rashad. That's a, that's something special to our heart here in Chicago, obviously, one of ours. And uh, it's interesting. I believe it was Brendan Shaw brought it up one day, talking about after Rashad had won the title, bringing up that the grind stays the same, that, you know, you accomplish this thing and, and you just got to keep going going at it you know things don't really change but for someone like you like to understand that you you have to keep in putting the work because the next hunger guy is getting there is do you use that as as an extra kind of motivation not that someone like you needs the extra motivation but knowing that there is going to be another challenge after this that you could get this crown you could get this awesome achievement hell you have a bunch of them already but to put this on it and then know that hell yeah i get another uh, a challenge after this how do, is that a motivation for somebody like you yeah, absolutely. Because it, it's for me, it's never, it's not really a, a just about the belt. Mm. Of course, it's about the belt, but it's about being the best. Out. And so, yes, I, I that grind is going to stay the same. It's always stayed the same. That's one thing about me. It doesn't matter if this was, I trained just as hard as I did for that first UFC fight mm. as I am for this title fight. I, each and every fight, I trained just as hard for them. So I leave nothing to chance. Nothing changes. It's not, oh, I feel like this is a lesser opponent. I'm going to train not as hard. No, nothing changes because I, I, I worked extremely hard to get to this point, and I will continue to work that hard to ensure that I am not only the champion, I'm the champion for quite some time until I'm ready to walk away from the sport. And I love something you said there about not taking your opponent lightly. Doesn't matter the occasion. Always keeping the professionalism. And I wondered, somebody like you who works so hard, who's been part of this this game and, and this art form, and you've taken different things. When you watch, like somebody like Rafael and the Sanchos or like Tyron, when you're cutting down the film. Do you ever kind of like take something from it and kind of incorporate it and do your own little funky thing with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, so just take that little uh, Usman magic to something that you see maybe the opponent do. Is that something that people on your level get are able to implement into your own game? Yes, yes, and yes and no. Mm. Uh, one of the big things that I, I do is, of course, I when you're at, at the top, you kind of know everybody that's around that, that area mm. that's at the top. And so you keep your eye on everybody. So I, I've been keeping my eye on each and every one of them. So I know. I know what they do and how they do it. But the biggest thing for me is once you sign on that dotted line that you have to compete against me, that shift changes. Now the focus is on you. And anything you say or do can 
and will be used against you once we step inside that octagon. And how much does that have to do, especially as you've grown in the sport and you've kind of seen the maturation of the sport in the last, like, hell, 10 years? How important has that been for you to know, like, yeah, you know, I, I work as hard as anybody on the gym. I do as much sparring as anybody. I, I train and I take care of my body. But to also know that that muscle in between the, the ears is just as important. Has that been kind of the another maturation in your development? Yeah. It's been. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. Like, I mean, I was thrown into a room with guys like Sugar Rashad Evans, mm. Tyrone Spong, Alistair Overing, mm. George Santiago, uh, <laughs> J- Michael Johnson, <laughs> Anthony Rumble Johnson. Sharks. Now, imagine being thrown into a yes, it, it, not just sharks, big sharks. Yeah. I'm talking <laughs> sharks from the mag, the movie. So imagine being just a wrestler and you're thrown into that and it's sparring there. Mm. Like, what? I, I never really thrown a punch to, to hit someone ever, and now I have to spar with these guys? Damn. And you have to survive? And so that that's – and then you have to take something away mm-hmm. because I watch how Rashad prepares. I watch how Anthony Johnson prepares. I watch how Michael Johnson, all these guys prepare. And so you take something from that. You, you take a little something here, take a little something here. And then you start to use it, incorporate it into yourself and see whether it works for you or whether it doesn't work for you. And all in all, it's led me to this point right now. I I love it. I'm just a couple years younger than you, and I can hear it in your voice where I know that this is a profession. This is serious, and there's real consequences and stakes and lifetime type of stuff. But when you're saying these names and kind of just the grind that you've been through, you're still having fun, and you, you still love doing this. Even though you're at the top, and you're about to fight for the title against one of the all-time greats, and you're you're cementing your own legacy, you're still having a lot of fun doing this, right? Yes, absolutely. I, I like I, I say, I don't do this because I have to. I don't do it because I, I'm not educated, or, or this is all I have. Mm. I'm educated. I went to school. Mm. I went to college. I can go get a professional job and, and work a job. I chose to do this. I absolutely chose to do this, and so I, I put everything into it. My 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 passion for competition in this sport is so high that, which is why it, it, it's led me in, and bred me to to know that I am the best at this. I'm willing to go to levels where other guys aren't willing to go in order to achieve what I set out to achieve. You had a an awesome quote that I think not just any wrestler here in the Midwest and in Chicago or any I think any athlete or just person trying to do something in their life. Being honest to be a champ. You said that a few days ago, you know, this crazy time in, in the media week, but I think that's that's something you just it, it kind of incorporated this whole interview is you know the kind of man you are, you know the team you have with you, and you know the guy in front of you. Do you think that that's kind of been the biggest advantage is knowing that you're doing this because you love You can't lose anything in this fight. The only thing that can happen is you can gain the title and beat one of the best to do it. Like, how much of an advantage is that compared to other fighters who love it just as much, who are just as talented, but don't have that that confidence in themselves to know, I can do anything whenever I want? Yeah, it's it's a huge advantage because I'm honest with myself. Mm. I I know that, but I'm extremely honest with myself. If I got... If I got... I'm not training enough jujitsu, and I'm getting submitted all the time. I'm going to be honest with myself and saying, "Hey, uh, you know, we got to get our jujitsu game up because we're getting submitted all the time." I'm willing to do all that. A lot of guys aren't willing to do it, mm. and they're they're dishonest with themselves, and they, which hurts their progress. I've been honest with myself, my career, which has which is ultimately what has just kind of gave me all the tools to end up in the situation that I am now. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the opera I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else. And how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. 
Follow us on Twitter at MMercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airways crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airways. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and more. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airways. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash MikeMercado2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airways by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airways, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airways Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox. Tomorrow, you've been too amazing with uh, with your time already with us. It's it's title week. You're you're focused. You're ready. Everybody's ready to see you and Tyron actually destroy this card. So uh, before we let you go, uh, where can the fans here in Chicago and everybody who's going to watch you this coming up weekend tear the house down? Where can they support you and what can they expect this weekend between you and the champ? Man, you guys can expect a, just a barn burner. I mean, two dogs are being put into a cage and one has to fight its way out. That's the fight that I'm expecting, a dog fight. Uh, and, um, you know, you can expect a finish in the later rounds. You can expect a finish. I think, uh, as I mentioned, these guys not willing to run the race that I'm willing to run. He can't go to the lengths that I'm willing to go to to win this fight. So you can expect me closing this fight out in a later round. And, of course, everyone can, can find me, follow me. I'm online. All my social media handles are the same. At USMAN84KG. USMAN84KG. Awesome. And we'll make sure we tag it and post you on there. Nightmare, I can't oh, – you're what you're what we like to call a uh, – our, our, one of our favorites. We're, we're, we're nerds of the Ultimate Fighter, so you know you, you got a special place in our heart here. And obviously now with the Rashad drop, you're our guy, so we cannot wait to talk to you after you win the title. But no matter what, congratulations. It's well earned, and uh, you're one of the true gentlemen of this sport. So thank you so much for taking some time for us. Good health, and uh, give them hell this weekend, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. A huge thank you to the Nigerian Nightmare, Kamuro Usman. You can catch him this Saturday, March 2nd, live on paper per view it is jones versus smith woodley versus usman the light heavyweight championship their welterweight championship ufc 235 you don't want to miss what some are calling the biggest card of 2019 thank you all so much for joining us for this special interview on sports from the couch here on the mercado airwaves network follow me all over social media enjoy everything that we have on the network until our next interview enjoy the fights i'm mike mercado we'll see you next time What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Another day that the opera is out there and uh, that's my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at MMercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support.
Enjoy our shows? Follow the Mercado Airways crew all over social media. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airways. On Instagram, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 2121. Mike is at Mike Mercado 2333. And our true crime show is at Murder Mysteries and More. And on Twitter, Nicole is at Typing Wind Tipsy. Alex is at Mercado 21 Alex. And Mike is at M Mercado 2333. You can follow the network at Mercado Airways. Follow our pop culture show on Twitter at Good Brothers Pod. Get us on the go by downloading our programs anywhere you get your favorite podcast, like iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, and other popular sites. Just search us at Mercado Airwaves. While you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us with your friends. Visit us on YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Click the subscribe and like button to get notified every time a new episode or interview is posted. Support Mercado Airwaves by visiting Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves, the home of our interviews with athletes and celebrities, which you can get ad-free and early before it's released to the public. Come play video games with us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Mercado Airwaves is powered by Munch Art Design. Like them on Facebook at Munch Art Design. Voiceover work on Mercado Airwaves is performed by Josh Fox.